You're watching Bravo Marvel. Back with another Destiny 2 PvP build. I ask that you smack that like button if you enjoyed the intro as always. Comment down below if you've ever used hierarchy of needs in PvP and if this vid helps you understand the potential of this bow in PvP. I also ask that you please subscribe if you like my style of Destiny content. Many of my videos are getting algorithm shafted so please show those vids love as well. It's free and it motivates me to continue to make more Destiny 2 content now that we know Destiny 2 is not going anywhere soon. At this point, I might as well call my builds characters due to the diverse oh, nature of all of them. I introduce to you Warmine Athena. I really wanted to disprove Frostbolt and other content creators that really just diss hierarchy and needs in PvP. If you're familiar with my content by now, you know that I can get a reram with pretty much all my builds, even in today's Dark Age sandbox. Hierarchy and needs, a true powerhouse of a weapon, has a secret sauce within its catalyst. This catalyst allows the bow to fire faster than a lightweight 
and do a potential 161 damage to anywhere in your opponent's body when landing all projectiles. This bow was meant for lane control. Move aside, LC rifle bitch, because there's a new sheriff in town. Each headshot grants two marks for your guidance ring. A headshot kill grants four. In total, you will need six to activate your guidance ring, which comes easy for bows. Pair this with the mini game with Hazardous Proportions mini game, which requires precision damage, and you got yourselves a literal war mine in Crucible. Watch this full match, and you will see why I love this hard hitting bow so much. I'll discuss more at the build breakdown, as always. You mean to tell me that no one killed him? Get some rockets, bro. Damn it. I gotta get you, bro.
Fuck. Run from that, run from the bird, run from the bird. Cover trail. And one more for good luck. Don't see anything. I got two rockets. Need to make the best of them. I knew I hit him. It was a little laggy. Uh, got no bomb. Fuck. Uh, let's not choke. Nah. Fuck. I ran out of options. I just had to throw something out there. I need to put that work in, come on. Oh, that's swarm, 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 swarm. I got one rocket. Oh, guidance ring. Then you gotta keep track of all your buffs, bro. It's kinda. Fuck it. Did I just waste my guidance? I didn't, but we are getting swarmed out the ass. Oh, oh, oh man, they really want me dead, bro. I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Please. I still have guidance. Just don't know where to use it. I'm about to get peregrine. guy jumping over here. Where the fuck is he? Uh, that was close. I guess. Bottom or top? Bottom or top? Going to teammates. Perk. Got three rockets. I'm probably gonna die right here. I almost got my. One final push and victory is yours. Guys. Section at all. I need to head back inside right now. They blood is in the waters. They want me dead, bro. Ah. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Dang it. I was trying to ride that out, bro, to the very end. I should have been a bit more aggressive right there. I don't recall if I had rockets. Come on. Uh, they're 
gonna stay on B, aren't they? Oh fuck. Hopefully we don't lose the game. Bring it home, Guardians. Yeah, we lost. Damn it. <sighs> I may have cost us that game a little bit. Just a little bit. But was it worth it? I think so, in my opinion. A decent 28. With hierarchy. Not bad, not bad. And we didn't lose by too much either. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Now let's get on with the build. For my super choice, you can either go with Hammer Soul or Burning Maul. I like Burning Maul just for the memes and just the swing movement that you have with the super as well. For your barricade, I recommend Rally Barricade. It's the fastest cooldown and it allows you to get your rockets faster. Strafe Jump as always. Throwing Hammer for easy Radiance procking. Landing a hierarchy of needs, headshot, and then throwing your hammer would get you a kill. Or using your sidearm, and then throwing your hammer. Or you can throw your hammer first, get radiance, and then clean them up with the sidearm because you got radiance. Storm grenades are going to be our key. I know they're meta right now, but the only reason I'm using them is because when you put down your guidance ring, people like to charge you. So throw your storm grenades down by your guidance ring, and they won't charge your guidance ring as you lay down their entire team. Roaring flames is going to be our best aspect here because consecration is going to waste our hammer throw, which we need for more survivability and radiance proccing. And sadly, Sunbreaker just needs help. We need a new aspect. Soul Invictus is a great aspect. On the other hand, Getting a kill with our Swarm Grenades or our Mini Hammer procs a little sunspot which can burn our enemies and also heal us and grant us ability energy. Like I said, Consecration, you could use it if you want if you really like getting those random team wipes, but most of the time they're just going to jump out the way. Our first fragment is going to allow us to gain Radiance from our melee hit. And you get unlimited Mini Hammers as long as you pick them up after getting a hit with them. I chose Searing just for the recovery stat. You could change out Char for longer Radiance. I might do that, but right now I just have it on for Discipline. Combustion to make our super more lethal and to give us more strength. For stat-wise, you want Match Resilience to activate your Hazardous Propulsion more. Match Recovery, since you're using a bow, you want to Peak Shot more. And Match Strength for your Hammer. On to our weapons. For your primary, you can go the Submachine Gun route or a Sidearm route, which pairs Real good with Hierarchy Needs since Hierarchy Needs kind of hits like a sniper. Hierarchy Needs, look at his beauty. Bungie done outdid themselves with how this looks. I know I said in the last video Touch of Malice was the best looking exotic, but I forgot all about this one. I take it back. This has to be the best looking exotic. So I already talked about exotic perks. You land headshots, you get your guided ring, and then with the catalyst, which makes this bow actually usable in PvP, and a, cont a contender for probably the best lane weapon. Um, the catalyst is going to allow you to shoot like a lightweight frame bow, but have that same damage. And you don't even have to go for headshots, you just go for body shots and still get the two tap. This weapon alone has the potential to get a seventh column. Your boy just waiting for that moment. And when I do get that moment, I'm going to upload it for sure. You already know. For armor mods, all the basic stuff, whatever you think helps, helps. The bow does have super slow handling, add dexterity and loaders on. It'll help you out a lot. Onto Azada, which I think pairs so nice with Hierarchy of Needs and really gives it that war mine look that I was going for. Hazardous Repulsions, Azada perk. Weapon precision hits or final blows have a chance to load Kinetic Exodus rockets. Activating your class ability fires loaded Exodus rockets. So, like every precision hit with our bow is going to give us one rocket. And getting a kill gives us usually two to three rockets. So, you can really stack them up easily and you're stacking up both perks at the same time. If you guys have any other ideas or any other exotics that might pair real good with Hierarchy, let me know in the comments below. But I think this was a, a great one to pair with it. 
Now make sure to add on your weapon surge too because this bow could benefit from it. Help your damage out. And yes, that's the build, Warmind Athena. I freaking love this build. The only reason I play Solar Titan is because of this build. And it's a super fun quick play build that I love so much. Well, I hope you guys give it a try if you have these exotics. Hopefully you get your higher gear needs to drop. And here's the fashion. You want to look like a war mine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, I'll see you in the next. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like because my videos haven't been doing too hot. And it'll really help them out in the long run. Thank you. Peace out. Subscribe, motherfucker.